Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gregory George and I am tracking my hair transplant progress from my second hair transplant progress. I'm now on day 10. I didn't film yesterday or the day before, but I did take pictures and filmed some of what my hair looked like yesterday. Um, so we'll check that out first and I will explain what you're seeing. It's quite scabby, blah, blah, blah all that regular stuff. But yes, I'm now on day 10, so it's the, the grafts are finally like where they're supposed to be, nicely like healed and everything, so I should be able to start sleeping perfectly normally from tonight onwards. Um, and between now and the next four days, all of the scabs should have gone. Um, they're going quite well at the moment, so at the moment, like the scabs that are there tend to be hanging on the edge of on the end of uh, of the hairs they're like they're no longer sort of like attached to the scalp they're just like at the top end of the hairs so you can kind of see there are like the scabs are like like there. scabs like here it's it they're just attached to like shafts of hair rather than like stuck on my scalp and as you can see they are coming away quite quite nicely and the good thing is you can already see that there is all of that original transplanted hair showing up nicely so that i'm not gonna have to wait for that to grow that's gonna keep growing as it normally would um and then all of these additional hairs are gonna grow in around that hair transplanted hair from about three months onwards three to four months onwards see it is still quite scabby but it's, it's not so bad. The skin itself isn't as red as it was when I first had it done. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's healing nicely. It's looking good. Pretty good. Um, still a little bit gross, but yeah, I can't wait for this to grow through. So that's the hair on day 10. Um, I'm going to show you the back of my head, which is healed up really well. Um, I feel like this has healed up faster than it did last time I had it done, so, yeah, here's the back of my head, it's, it's going kind of well, I guess, you can still see like a, a patch of slightly like lighter, lighter skin or lighter, lighter scalp, whatever, um, but that will obviously like blend in eventually, yeah, the back is looking pretty good 10 days after the surgery, so, yeah, I think like if I was to wear like a hat, I don't think anyone would know, that I've had anything done from the back because it would be mostly covered. But yeah, it's going good. It's going pretty good. I'm feeling good. I'm liking it. At the moment, it just looks like I've, from like here, it looks like I've just shaved my head and this is just normal. Um, but yeah, it's, it's good. It is now day 11 and it is going good. Like I feel like I, I, I'm surprised that it actually kind of suits me. I'm quite pleased. I was I was freaking out so much about having the shaved head because I've never done it before, but I've kind of got used to it and I kind of like it. And a lot of people have said that it kind of suits me. So who knows? I might I, I might do this again in the future. Probably not, but I might do scabs. There's still a few little scabs, but I'm managing to get rid of most of them as I'm massaging it and showering and stuff. So I will show you what it looks like now. Now that most of them have gone. Um, some little bits of hair have obviously come out with those scabs, but it's it, it's nothing to worry about because they will grow back. You can see there's a lot less scabbage than there was before, but you can also see how like how much more densely packed this is, and it's it's looking good. There's still quite a bit of scabbing around there, but it's it's definitely calmed down a bit. There's not that much left to go. There's still a few little scabs, but it is, I'm loving it, it's looking good. That is looking nice and and full. <laughs> it's gonna be great. So that is it, day 11. Um, still a few bit, a few, a few scabs. They're, they're coming out a lot easier now. And yeah, it's looking good. And the back of my hair is looking really good as well because it's, it's, it's pretty much all, all healed. And now it's just a case of waiting for my hair to grow. So, the fact that it's healed up nicely within less than two weeks is pretty good. Um, and as you can see, it's looking pretty good. You can, all, you can still tell that I've had it done because it's, it's still quite early days, but it, like, you, can, you can see where this is going. 
and you can see that it's, it's looking good. Very, very, very pleased at the moment. I've been using the oil to like soften the hair before I have the shower. I've just been using, to be honest, I've been using head and shoulders shampoo and it's it's been fine. I was thinking obviously because like the scabbing and the flaking and all that stuff, head and shoulders would be pretty good for it. So that's what I've been doing. Nothing else to really like kind of report. Sleeping, I'm sleeping fine now, which is good. I feel like this has gone a lot quicker than it, it did last time. So like once you get past those first few days where you just can't sleep at all, it's fine, it's fine, it's just, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling very good, very positive. So yeah, see you soon. Tomorrow will be two weeks, two weeks since getting my hair transplant done. Um, most of the scabs are gone now. There's only like a few little ones left. All the scabbing should be gone at the two week, 14 day mark. Um, so it's pretty much all gone. And with it, a load of, <laughs> and with the scabs going, a load of the little hair shafts have gone as well. So it doesn't look as, as thick as it did couple of days ago but that's because I've lost a load of the hair shafts but they will be growing back and there is still quite a bit of hair there compared to how I started with anyway that has stuck around so we'll see if if, if that falls out then it'll fall out but if it doesn't then that's great but yeah you can see there's there's a few little bits of scabbage left uh, some around here it's still very soft um, yeah, a few few little bits of scabs, and this redness will all go down as well. Uh, it stays red for quite a bit, for quite a while. But as soon as that's gone down, it's going to look a heck of a lot more natural um, and and calm. But yeah, it is good. It is good. It's going good. The back is like pretty much fully healed. Uh, as soon as the hair grows through, you won't see a thing. It's looking good. Here we are at the end of the first two weeks. Hair is doing good. My hair is feeling soft. Um, I can move, I can I can touch it without like it, like stressing me out, which is great. I have lost most of the scabs and uh, quite a bit of the, the hair has come out with the scabs. So I'm feeling very bald at the moment and I'm not loving it. Aside from that, it's healing good, it is healing good. Um, I'll show you nice and close and then we can compare to where I was at the two-week mark last time I had this done um, So you'll see like a good difference between how I am now Compared to how I was then so you can see on the right We've got the new hairline and you can see that there's loads of hair growth there already And that's just from my original transplant growing through on the left hand side. I I wasn't very good at like filming up close and showing the details back then. Um, so I'm definitely going to improve on that this time round and show you the real details of the transplant as we go through. You can really see like the old hairline there, which is a bit crazy. But yeah, as I said before, in my original videos, my hairline has always been really high, really much, really like in that M shape. So I'm glad I'm finally getting it fixed, like fully, fully fixed with this second hair transplant. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. Here's a little very short time lapse of the first two weeks of the front of my hair as it's healing from the transplant. Hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. I will see you next week.